3.25. Monica? Jenny! <gasps> oh! Wow, how are you? You look great. Thanks, Jenny. You look really good, too. Hey, why don't we get some coffee? Uh, I'd love to, but I'm on the way to meet... Oh, come on. <laughs> Five minutes. <laughs> So, how is everything? Oh, great. Things couldn't be better, actually. Mm. Scott and I, we're getting married. <laughs> You're what? <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, thank you. <laughs> when did you get engaged? Only a few days ago. I'm glad I saw you, actually. I was going to call you. We've only told family so far. I can't believe it. Mm. Monica the wife. <laughs> and to think you used to go clubbing every night. Well, that was a few years ago. All I want to do now is stay in and read wedding magazines. <laughs> <laughs> and how are the plans coming along? Oh, I haven't done anything yet. My mom and Scott's mom want to organize the whole thing themselves. <laughs> That's what mothers are for. <laughs> True. But what about you? You look fantastic. Oh, well, I guess I'm kind of happy, too. Uh-huh. What's his name? Rob. Oh, you've been keeping him very quiet. Is it serious? Uh, it's kind of, you know. So it is. It's still early. We haven't been together for long. He only moved here from London a few months ago. What? He's British? And you think you can persuade him to stay in New York? That won't be easy. I think he likes it here. You know how guys are. You never know what they're thinking. Hmm. When can I meet him? Uh, that's him now. Three point twenty-six. Do you mind if I join you? Of course not. Come on, sit down. <laughs> Thank you. I have to leave in a minute anyway. Uh, could I have a large latte, please? Of course. Rob, this is Monica. Nice to meet you, Rob. You too, Monica. You know, Jenny talks about you a lot. And I've seen college photos of you two together at Jenny's parents' house. Oh, of course you have. My dad's photos? Ah. <laughs> You've hardly changed at all. What a nice man. I can see why you like him, Jenny. The perfect English gentleman. <laughs> Your latte. Oh, thanks. Can you pass the sugar? Sure. Mm. Oh, sorry, guys, but I have to go. Oh, you sure I haven't interrupted anything? Not at all. It's just that I have to meet someone. But let's get together very soon. We will. Bye, Rob. Nice meeting you. Bye. Bye. Talk soon. She seems like a happy person. She is. Especially right now. She's getting married. <laughs> That's fantastic news. Yeah, it is. I guess we're at that age now, when most of our friends are settling down and getting married. <laughs> yeah. Oh, speaking of friends, I want to ask you a favor. Is it okay if we change our plans a bit this week? Um, sure. What's up? I've just had a call from an old friend of mine, Paul. I haven't seen him since we were at university, and he's traveling around the States at the moment. Anyway, he's arriving in New York this evening, and uh, I've invited him to stay for the week. Cool. It'll be fun to meet one of your old friends. What's he like? Oh, Paul's a laugh. He used to be a bit wild, but that was a long time ago. He's probably changed completely. Well, I'm looking forward to meeting him. Just one other thing. Could you do me a big favor? I have to work late this evening, so would you mind meeting him at the airport? Not at all. I'd like to meet him. And do you think you could take him to my flat? I'll give you the keys. No problem, Rob. Thanks so much, Jenny. You're a real star. 3.26 Asking permission. One. Do you mind if I join you? Of course not. Come on, sit down. Two. 
Is it okay if we change our plans a bit this week? Uh, sure. Requests. Asking someone to do something. One. Can you pass the sugar? Sure. Two. Could you do me a big favor? I have to work late this evening, so would you mind meeting him at the airport? Not at all. I'd like to meet him. Three. And do you think you could take him to my flat? I'll give you the keys. No problem, Rob. 3.28. Do you mind if I join you? Of course not. Is it okay if. Uh, sure. Can you pass the sugar? Sure. Could you do me a big favor? Would you mind meeting him? Not at all. Do you think you could take him? No problem. 3.29 Hey man! Paul! <laughs> it's great to see you, mate. You too, Paul. It's been years. You haven't changed at all. <laughs> Just got better looking. How come you're so late? Paul's flight from LA was delayed, and then the traffic coming back was just awful. But that gave us time to get to know each other. Yeah. Paul told me all about his travels. Every detail. And look at this. Your own New York flat. How cool is that? It's good. Really good. But do you want something to eat? I got some things on my way home. Stay in? It's my first night in the Big Apple. Let's go out and have a pizza or something. I thought you'd be tired after the flight. No way, man. I'm ready for action. Great. I'll get my jacket. Uh, Rob, I think I'll go home if you don't mind. I, uh, I'm exhausted. Oh. Okay, then. So it's a boys' night out. Just like the old days. <laughs> and after the pizza, we can go on somewhere else. Rob, we've got a lot to talk about. <laughs> Three point thirty. Hey, man. It's great to see you, mate. How come you're so late? No way, man. Rob, I think I'll go home if you don't mind. Just like the old days. Rob, we've got a lot to talk about. <laughs>